guys welcome back to another episode of no man's sky so today i wanted to go ahead and go to a new system now i'm not sure if this is the one with the black hole i can't remember if this is this one has a black hole or not thought i might have saw it behind the space station but i could be wrong i'm not sure where the space station is somewhere over there okay let's see here doesn't look like there's a black hole here oh is that it no whoop oh yeah there it is right there okay um just debating if we should go through that or not uh let's see do have all those resources on our ship though so we'll probably go ahead and trade those after but um, just to get some distance what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take our Explorer and then we'll travel to the system with that or through the black hole I figure it's already designed in a way so we can actually get further distance so as much as our ship here is good for space battles we don't really need to engage if we don't want to so it's not like we need a better ship but we'll take this one uh, we do have some defense on it uh, we have some of the phase beams those new weapons that we haven't tried out yet and uh, the uh, ballista turrets so it's pretty well equipped We'll get as much damage as a our fighter, but we'll still be able to take on something if we're being chased. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll go through that black black hole over here. Well, that's interesting. Don't want to be shooting at that. Okay, we'll just go quick, quicker to that location. Oh, no, hold on. Something's, something's happening. Keeps wanting to direct to the moon, so we'll just kind of fly there as quick as possible. There we go. That's a little bit easier.
Okay, so we actually had a little bit of an issue where one of our our golden vector wasn't spawned in, so I had to move the freighter again. Uh, I wasn't sure how to get it back. There's not like a terminal I can just like use to use it, as far as I know. Like, I don't know anything on the ship that would actually do that, so. It's a little bit awkward when you have a lot of ships, and I know you can go over the amount that is in the cargo bay, but, um, actually, hold on a second, what's this? No, it's nothing. I thought maybe it was something that we could actually use. Um, yeah, maybe they can actually add something in like that. I, m I might open up a suggestion for it, for, um, having the option to kind of select what ships you want in your cargo hold, or at least switch them out. Uh, with like a terminal or something there so you can actually go ahead and um, do that that would probably be a really nice feature because <laughs> right now if you have like multiple ships like we had um, that extra one that I didn't even know we had um, they generally leave three spots open on your freighter so any other additional ships hide so you, there isn't really a way to kind of choose which ones you want so it is what it is but uh I'll, I'll suggest it to them maybe they can use those terminals at the front there for uh switching or something that would be pretty cool because i don't think they're found pretty much anywhere else so all right so i wanted to quickly um do some farming uh at the top there we have um the contraband items and some other things that I wanted to kind of get through. Now, I did get the get guy in here. So he's wearing red now, so made sure that we had something like that. Until I find someone with more red, I like trying to keep the, them consistent. I need to replace the scientist as well. I'm not sure where to find the scientist. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, let's go ahead and go up to the top level farm, which is the red one. And we can go ahead. Did I just go back down? Might have gone just back down. Whoops. Okay, there we go. All right, I think we're on the right floor now. Uh, not that way, this way. Alright, so I wanted to get some of the farming things on this floor done so we can get some money. But we don't really farm that much. We did at the beginning, but not so much at the end. So...
right, so we're just about to explore another planet. Um, I did find a couple of those uh, things that we have already, the um, capsule shells or whatever. Um, I was thinking about decorating our, our freighter with a couple of those, so let's see what we can come up with. Now, I'm not sure what this planet offers. There is something there, but I think it's just one of those small outposts, nothing too fancy. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can't find... Um, now, I did get a couple things. I'm going to actually land on the planet first uh, and see if that actually helps when we're finding a distress signal. But I purchased like nine of them. So we'll be, maybe if we're lucky, we'll be able to find um, a... Uh, crashed ship so we can basically update that or fix it or whatever we need to do but we'll see what we can come up with wanted to um, find somewhere to land so we can actually get off without using anything oh hold on what's that oh that's just cave system okay let's see if there's this actually seems like a pretty uh, desolate planet tell you the truth Not a lot of structures on it. Okay, you know what? I, I just remembered I have an economy scanner, so I can just search for economy. And um, it'll give us a general location for an outpost. Nine minutes. Alright, so we'll definitely go outside of the atmosphere for that. Kind of whip around the Earth until, or planet until we uh, get there, I think. Generally, flying higher will get you there faster. If you're in space, you'll even go even faster than that, so... Yeah, you can see how fast we're actually going now. Should just be right over here, though. I shouldn't have to go, like, all the way out. Just for far enough where I can... Keep going at a pretty good altitude. So we'll cut the uh, time in half pretty much. Okay, we'll, we'll keep going straight. But I think we're getting a little bit lower. Okay, I might have been actually on the other side of the planet. Alright, so it should be right down here.
so I actually just checked our companion and it's fully grown up now. Oh, <laughs> we do need to adjust some of the uh, attributes still. I want to basically get it so it's a little bit smaller because it takes up a lot of room and don't necessarily need something this big. Honestly, this is like huge, so I want to like shrink it down a little bit. But um, yeah, uh, the the one that we had prior, uh, I got I cleaned up outside some of our things as well um, for the thing, but um, for our companions list, so we have a few extra spots open. But um, yeah, basically, I want to make it smaller, and it does have attributes of helpfulness. So if we were to open up the uh, list thing here, it says that it's helpfulness, uh, 19%. So I want to increase that so it actually goes ahead and, um, helps us with mining and stuff like that a little bit more. So, uh, but yeah, overall, I like the color of it. Turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that, but, uh, ooh, beans. Yeah, so we'll take those. Um, yeah, so outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.